Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is a second video about Shark Vacuum Cleaner, the model IZ300. In Australia it's ANZ model, in UK I think it's UK model, uh, appendix at the end. But it's not about that, it's about how Shark Vacuum Cleaner performs and what do I think in comparison to seemingly superior Dyson or less superior Electrolux Q7. If you did not see my reviews about Dyson Electrolux, feel free to uh, troll my channel through this. And this review will be in a similar fashion to my other reviews. What means is it's not professional, I'm not affiliated with any product, and I say it how it is. Why I'm doing this? Because I think there's a lot of commercial um, nonsense on the internet and people glorifying every single product and everything seems to be uh, too beautiful for what it is and when you buy it you may be disappointed so I don't want you to get disappointed I would like you to expect things that you would expect from product when you buy it and pay money for what you believe it's the best product for you so let's start with what I like about Shark Vacuum Cleaner as you can see, uh, that is a storage mode for every single vacuum cleaner that I've got. And Dyson, you know, you need to disassemble to store it or just hang it on a docking station. But that's that size and then you're removing all the tubes. The Electrolux has a docking station as well, full length. And some people may not have enough space to uh, store things. The Shark Vacuum Cleaner is folded in a half. So there's basically buttons that you release, I think it's this one, and on a full scale, it's the same size as others. But then you, when you finish, you just fold in it and it stands perfectly in a corner and you can tuck it in in any place. This is not really a feature of Vacuum Cleaner, but I think storage is very important and I would like to emphasize it's a small form factor and that's what I like. Again, I will be talking about things that I like first and then there will be a couple of things that I don't like about vacuum cleaner, shark vacuum cleaner, as well as others vacuum cleaners, how they compare and what I like and don't like about them. So you can make your own mind in uh, buying one. So, slim form factor, really like it. What else I like about it is the head of vacuum cleaner so there are a couple of brushes and they're quite interesting so this is a soft fluffy brush it picks up at the front things that other vacuum cleaner may not pick up and kind of shoves it in and there's a second brush you may see it has a um, hard plastic fins not really hard but they not too soft they're just plastic fins and there's a brush kind of chevrons so there's a dual action that beyond normal vacuuming shoves things inside where vacuum doesn't have to be as powerful or too powerful to actually vacuum the surface. I think it's a really good um, innovation to have a double brush with second brush, got a couple of different methods to, to collect the dust and debris. And I like that um, the way it works. And also it's pretty silent compared to others, even to Electrolux. Now, another feature is that one that I don't have in Dyson and I have it here, so we've got six LEDs. Uh, I do like vacuuming when it's slightly darker and those LEDs highlighting the specks of dust and other debris on the floor, it's much easier to vacuum. Now, while I'm like up close here, another feature like here is, uh, removable battery none of those vacuum cleaners they have got removable battery and you know there's a couple of good reasons to have some so if you need uh, have a longer run time you may have a couple of spare batteries and you can slide them in and keep vacuuming when your main battery runs out with other vacuum cleaners you need to recharge them it's taking a long time and you may not complete the job also, for the purpose of replacing battery, it's so easy, you slide it off and it's getting replaced. In this day and age where 
Gashers probably will die faster than vacuum itself. I think it's a good feature and you don't need any degree or any formal education to replace the battery. I think it's really a good thing. Also, what is good is um, how to empty that vacuum cleaner. Let me um, show it's so easy to empty it and um, I think I think it's one of the best features. So there's a button here. Let's say you above the rubbish bin and okay, let's say you remove it, right? You come into the uh, rubbish bin and you press the button and it just pops down. That's it. There's no fancy things like Dyson, especially version six and eight. You had to figure out the whole thing. It's easy. With Electrolux, you need to disassemble half of the vacuum cleaner to empty it. Here, you just press the button and it pops out. That's really handy. So, while we're here, let me remove the top bit and I'll show you what else I do like here. Hold on, how do we do this? Yep, so it's popped out. Here, you've got three filters in the shark. So one and two, so there's a one sponge filter that you can wash one other filter that I think is kind of almost cloth filter and here inside you got uh, a HEPA filter which is after vacuuming and does not leave anything flying in the air so out of two of those only Dyson have HEPA filter and that's the only filter I, I believe it has there so I'm not sure about um, uh, filtering but I think the triple filter system here is pretty good and I do like it it's easy to assemble in one piece now new shark has a digital display uh, so when you turn it on oh, sorry I didn't mean to that that um, so it has the, the uh, power button in the middle and two buttons on the side. One is a fan, which basically intensity of suction, and second one is a surface, whether it is uh, carpet or is it a hard floor. Uh, I find it does make difference, and I like using it, and I really like that it is on display. I'm not quite sure what it does in a physical sense, what is changing, but it's really good, handy, uh, feature to have there so let me fold it so it can stand now let's talk about things that I also like and it's the last thing I like about this shark it's priced well all right and I'm not gonna mention exact price because they vary uh, but in Australia you can get Electrolux for around $300 if you um, will find bargain, Shark between five to six hundred, and Dyson will be eight hundred plus. So my question always is: Shark two three hundred dollars better than Electrolux? The simple answer is completely yes. But if your floors are only hard floors and you're there to for daily pickup uh, dust and debris, I think Electrolux would do. If you got a little bit of carpet, maybe pets, I would say don't bother with Electrolux. It's just such a simple vacuum cleaner and there's a reason why you pay $300 for vacuum cleaner. Shark is your best bet or maybe comparable uh, vacuum cleaner. I think Shark is positioned really well between premium vacuum cleaners and the simple ones. And look at Dyson, that basically $800 plus, and my question is, is it $300 better than um, Shark? And it all depends. To me, it is. Uh, to you, it may be different. So I found the Dyson have bigger intensity in uh, cleaning carpets. I really like how when you put it in the power mode, it's increased suction, it's increased speed of the picking brush. And I feel, and, and it's a very subjective feel, that uh, Dyson does a better job on uh, thick 
carpets and just normal carpets in general. But if you don't have to be too thorough or you do it once a month with a normal vacuum cleaner and $300 means a lot to you, I think Shark is a, a beautiful vacuum cleaner to have. Now, let's talk about things that I don't like about Shark. So first one is it's uh, having less suction than Dyson and yet it's still uh, heavier. Do I feel that it's heavy? Probably not. But because it has a flexible um, uh, flexible suction uh, uh, bottom here, it kind of, when you're going under the furniture, it, it's really hard to drive it straight. And you can feel weight by manipulating the head around. So I felt uh, it's not as a deal breaker, but it does annoy me that it's heavy and harder to manipulate. The second one is uh, the battery life. The biggest advertisement of Shark that it lasts 60 minutes, and it will last you 60 minutes because if it doesn't, you can return uh, this vacuum back to the shop under consumer guarantee because it's not as advertised. But there's a little caveat to this asterisk that it will be in a, a lowest setting, like as a hard floors and a lower suction setting. Yes, it will last 60 minutes, but to be honest, it doesn't clean well at that setting. When I run it on the carpet in the power mode, it lasted 10, maybe 15 minutes, where Dyson uh, lasts probably good 15, 18 minutes and does better job at suction. So if cleaning carpets, it's important to you and you intend to do it in the power mode, I would not choose Shark, right? But if you got just normal standard requirements and you're there for general clean and maybe even um, time to time power clean, Shark, it's, uh, you know, it does a really good job. So all in all, am I happy with Shark, even with those things that I mentioned? Yes, of course. Am I gonna keep it, am I gonna sell it? Yes, I'm gonna keep it and maybe eventually replace Electrolux because Electrolux um, doesn't do any good job on the carpets at all. It's really good for hard floors as a daily driver, picking up rubbish, but I think combination of Shark and Dyson would be best for me. And I think if you cannot afford that uh, expense, just probably stick with the most expensive Dyson if you can. But if you can afford expense, don't go for most expensive Dyson. Go for like a um, previous year model and get your uh, latest uh, version of Shark. And this way you have a really both worlds are covered like you've got carpet and you've got hard floors and I think um, not the Dyson is harder to clean I think the way sharks operate it's more like daily driver it's more manageable for me how I work with it when Dyson requires a little bit more attention and storing away attachments and all of that so hopefully this review was helpful to you and it's not like uh, I'm not comparing here the vacuum cleaners which one is vacuuming better, but how it is in daily life and what possibly uh, you can <coughs> you can expect, excuse me, expect from them after buying them. So yes, Shark will not replace Dyson, but it's um, almost as good as if suction would be a little bit stronger and better your life better. But there's nothing wrong with Shark, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. And that's my review for Shark. Uh, I. I think it's IZ300 AMZ. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.